And back here at the Diamond as FSI continues, the Squirrels season may or may not be wrapping up. However, the shenanigans for the Squirrels off the field will continue straight through Christmas. And to discuss, we brought on Ted Lidhart from the West End Rotary. And Ted, first and foremost, thanks for being here today. Glad to be here, Jay. Thanks for asking. It is the Nutsies' second annual Rotary Fun Run. What is it? You got it. It's a 5K run. It starts here at the Diamond on Saturday, December the 7th, the same day as the Richmond Christmas Parade. We run down the Hermitage to the parade route, all the way down Broad to the Siegel Center, back here, and then we have a big after race party, and then we all go over and watch the parade. December the 7th, it's an 8 a.m. start time. This year, as opposed to last year, it's actually adding the timed and sanctioned uh, uh, type of run for the runners. What does that mean? Well, a couple things. We're going to start the first event actually at 7.30 that morning because we're expecting about 1,200 runners this year. Um, it's sanctioned. It is timed and chipped, meaning you'll be able to know your exact time, and it won't matter whether you're runner number one or number 1,200 in the back of the pack. Your, your race will start when you cross the, uh, cross the start line. It is fully sanctioned, and we have divisions for the serious runner, the, war, the weekend warrior, uh, the guy like me that doesn't do it often but wants to participate, walkers, strollers for single heads of household that want to bring the children, and a category for our, our challenged uh, uh, citizens who want to participate in this event. We want to take care of everybody and raise a lot of money for area children children's charities of the holidays. And that's what we're going to touch upon. Also, Nutsy will be running. Nutsy running at the front of the pack last year. That in just a bit. But talk about uh, really why this came together, how this has uh, become an event uh, for the rest well, of the Well, this is through great cooperation with the squirrels and the Christmas parades. Uh, personal friendships, friendships through Rotary, Parney, Bill, uh, Robert Kelly with the parade. We all came together. We wanted to do something more than simply have the parade. This. Ultimately, we want a weekend event that starts with the lighting on, on uh, Friday night downtown, a fun fest here at the Diamond. We're even talking about maybe having some fireworks this year as part of all of that. Then our run to raise money for charity, then the post-race recognition party, then go over and see the parade, all for local causes. This year, our two charities we've chosen are three of the local area Y MCAs and uh, the United Methodist Family Services that have the, the home on Broad Street, not too far from the Diamond here. Uh, the Y will be using their money to fund before and after school programs. Uh, the uh, Methodist Family Services will be using their proceeds to try to place some of their children over the holidays. Both great causes and both worthwhile for the holidays. Absolutely. December to, December the 7th is the run. December the 6th is the Fan Fest. Now you don't, or the Fun Fest, you don't have to be running to join us here at the Diamond on the Fun Fest on the 6th. However, uh, you mentioned those charities, that the cost involved with running at this event is really next to nothing. No, it is. The, there's the registration fee. It's uh, much cheaper now than it will be closer to the event. It goes up about five dollars every 30 30 days. But you can register now for 25 or 30 dollars. All that proceeds go to charity. Where all the Rotarians are chipping in their time and volunteering to run the event. There's a minimal cost to us to to do it. We want to make sure that these area charities that take care of the youth at Christmas time get all the proceeds we can possibly do. We're hoping to get some youngsters out at this uh, run. The kids' uh, pricing right now is ten dollars. It goes up to fifteen dollars after Labor Day, but still uh, should be a fun family event. Well, when we kicked it off in July, Nutsy stepped in as he always does and gave us a big discount for the children. So 10 bucks for a child to run, uh, eight and above. You do need, of course, parents' permission to run and, and sign the form. But we're up and running, www.nutsyrotaryfunrun.com. The registration is open right now. You can pay online. And I should clarify, it's not just the West End Rotary. Oh, you guys no. have teamed up with area rotaries no, throughout. No, it's area rotaries throughout, yeah. the, uh, throughout the area. Uh, Hanover Rotary, very involved, Midlothian Rotary, and of course, West Richmond. How are you going to run this year? <laughs> are Very you going to run? slowly. I hope to be able okay. to. You won't see me when the when the season runners come in about 18, 19 minutes. You'll be seeing me making the turn to the Seagull Center. The challenge <laughs> is to beat Nutsy, and he's pretty fast. He is pretty fast, and he he not only ran the whole way last year, he turned around and came back and high fived everybody coming across the finish line. We have great photos. We will have a photographer here um, taking photos for everybody. So not only will you get your time, not only will there be awards for certain categories, but you'll get your photo right. for your social media. Ted, thanks a lot. Glad to be here. Thanks for asking. John Laser will take a look back at the season that has been for the Flying Squirrels as FSI continues.